हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ्स फन लर्निंग आई एम योर मैथ टीचर राशि इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ओलंपियाड पेपर एंड दैट इज इंटरनेशनल मैथ्स ओलंपियाड दिस सेट व्हिच आई एम हैविंग राइट नाउ इट इज अ 2018 एंड 19 सेट क्लास 4 एंड सेट बी ओके टू किड्स आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू logical reasoning mathematical reasoning and everyday mathematics in my previous video today we are solving a chibar section so basically we are not only solving we are learning how to solve this question in a quick way but when i'm going to explain it it will take a little time so be patient and see how to solve it. so we are we are learning concept behind that achiever section is very much important in this olympiad paper why because it has only a five questions in a class 4 i'm talking about the class 4 it has only a five question and each questions of achiever section carries two marks okay whereas all other questions they can carry only one mark each okay so let's don't waste time let's start here achiever section questions are here and these question basically why why it is important because uh, in one question only they gives a many parts so you have to know each and every part this is my first question 31 achieve a section if there are the shapes given i'll just uh, name the colors blue plus yellow plus yellow which is equal to 3 1 by 25 second is yellow plus black plus red is equal to 3 1 by 5 third is blue plus black plus black is equal to 2 1 by 5 and red plus red plus blue is equal to 5 14 by 25 then what is the value of red plus yellow plus blue plus black how you will find this answer so don't get confused i'm going to explain you in a easiest way okay so what i did here so what i did here i just uh make these uh, shapes in a different uh, paper okay so here are my shapes right okay if i can if you can observe that this blue plus yellow plus yellow which is equal to okay now which is equal to three one by twenty five okay now next is yellow plus black plus red okay which is equal to three one by Five. Next is blue plus black and black plus another black, which gives you two one by five. Next is red plus red plus blue, which gives you five. Fourteen point twenty-five. So, kids, first you have to identify which type of fraction it is. Yes, that's called a mixed fraction. Very good. So, I'm just writing here mixed fraction. Okay. So, it's F fraction. So, what do you mean by the mixed fraction? In the mixed fraction, you know that the first one, which is written that. All called a whole numbers, and the rest are called a proper fraction, right? 
I just make like this. Okay. What is the relation between these? Yes. So what we can do now to solve easily. So we can separate this whole plus improper. Sorry, whole plus proper. So this is a whole number. This is proper number. Proper fraction, whole fraction and proper fraction. So here also, whole fraction and proper fraction. Whole fraction and proper fraction. Whole fraction plus pro proper fraction. If you can observe here, every shapes are 3 in number. Right? The question asks you, you have to find out the value of this. So here the value of this means these are the only single number, single shapes, red, yellow, blue, black. These are the sim single shapes. But here if you observe when you add these, you will find out that all shapes are 3 in number like yellow is 3, blues is 3, uh, black are 3 and the red are 3. Okay, so what does it mean? What we can do? First, solve this one. After that, I will explain it. So, here you saw that whole plus proper fraction, we have to add it. Okay, if you add whole fraction, what is your answer? So, let me just write down. These are called whole fraction. And these are called proper fraction. Okay, so what you can do first, we have to find out the aggregate. So first, which is equal to add all the whole fractions here. So I will just write down the fraction plus proper fraction. Okay, so the whole fractions are, let me use a pencil, 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5. Plus, so here 1.25 plus 1.5, 5, 1 upon 5 plus 14, 14 upon 25. So, there is no place. So, I will just write it down like this. Okay. Now, what you can do? So, here you just added all whole numbers. 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 5. 13 very good what what about this there are the fractions but these fractions are not a like fractions very good you are you, you add these fraction only at when when you are when you have a like fractions okay so when it is a like fraction then only you can add these okay let me side so yeah so i am going to write these like uh, fractions and change these proper fraction into a like fraction so the like fraction means all the denominator should be same so here 1 by 5 is there it's not same like a 25 so if you want to uh, uh, change it into a like fraction which number you are going to multiply it here we are going to multiply 5 yes so if you multiplied 5 with the denominator you have to multiply 5 with the numerator as well that's a rule this is the proper fraction here change into the like fraction because here denominator is 5 so we are multiplying with 5 so that it will change into the 25 and 5. The same here, 25 and 5. 5 is the numerator, 25 is the denominator. And you can observe that this is now change into the like fraction. Now it's 14 by 25. Now what you can see, this is also like fraction. So all are changed into the like fractions. So here kids, you understood about the whole fraction, proper fraction, like fractions as well. Now, what we can do right now, so we, we already changed these fraction to the like fraction. Now, we are going to add it. So, 1 by 25 plus, this is we changed, so 5 by 25 plus again 5 by 25 
plus 14 by 25 okay so these are the like fraction kits the like fraction that means numerator you can easily add if you add numerator you will get 25 only what is this yes it's divided by 1 this is a divided both the divide both will divide and it will give you a 1 and the answer will 40 so but what happened is that a correct answer you can observe that this shape is equal to 14 but here there is one twist and the twist is if uh, you counted the you added all the uh, fractions here but the shape has a 3 in number so that means the this shapes which is equal to 14 it is multiplied by 3 times okay so that shapes so answer which is 14 that is equal to 3 times the shape which is equal to 14 but here the question asks you we have to find out only the one shape okay so what we can do 3 is multiplying so the 3 will come here and it starts dividing so this is equal to 14 upon 3 and that is your answer of this question and where is the answer? You can see the B part is the correct answer. Right? I hope this is clear to everyone.